My joining us tonight. Mark Stein is an author and columnist, and he joins us tonight. I actually kind of, I'm carried away with my own rhetoric tonight, Mark, and I love the idea of a permanent independent council who investigates everybody in power. And why not, why stop with lawmakers? Why wouldn't he get into the guys who run Google and Facebook? I mean, just sort of someone who, you know, isn't encumbered by the corruption of the DOJ and who has an endless budget. What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's right, because there's, uh, there's millions and millions of people, and there's laws against everything, and if you happen to be the guy that they decide to look into, uh, they can find something, or they can turn your associates, or in this case, they can put the squeeze on your lawyer, which uh, I don't care what the congressman says. I find what happened with Michael Cohen absolutely repulsive. Uh, Lawyer-client privilege is something that was established by uh, Elizabethan times as a basic principle of common law, uh, the idea that you, you, you kick the guy's door down and you take everything, and we're supposed to be reassured because the prosecutor's colleague, who's not working on the case, will go through everything and decide what is or isn't uh, covered by attorney-client privilege is ludicrous. The well, New wait, York wait, Times... wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I have to interrupt you there. You're not from yeah. this country, so you may not read the New York Times. Hmm. But they assured us two days ago that if you're not guilty, you shouldn't worry about attorney-client privilege, that the president no, no. really has no cause for worry and no cause to hold on to that sacred ancient right if he isn't a criminal. So why should he yeah, be worried? No, I... I saw that in the New York Times, and what was also interesting to me is that the story began by announcing that they'd been uh, briefed by three people involved with the investigation. So we've already got three people leaking to the New York Times that, uh, that there's nothing to worry about, uh, that if they do, if, if this other guy who goes through all the stuff does happen to come uh, uh, across something interesting, he's not going to leak it like the three guys who've already leaked it. Federal justice. I'll get annoyed because that congressman was far too sanguine, Tucker. Federal justice is a toilet in this country. It operates on blackmail because everybody knows, Michael Cohen knows, that if you get dragged into court, they have a 97% conviction rate. No, so that they can't go be right. To hit, because that's, I mean, that's Soviet level. Is it really 97%? That's right. Now, if they take you into court, they, it's 97 percent. And, so, uh, and so these guys, they say, well, we lean on him, and uh, you say, you're looking at 30 years in jail. They're supposedly looking at Michael Cohen because he had a New York taxi medallion business. He ran a fleet of New York taxi cabs. Nobody, you're not telling me that in whatever hotel room he was sitting at, that he had his New York taxi cab documents from a decade ago and was shredding them in the, on the 37th floor of the Comfort Inn or whatever the hell he was in. I mean, this is corrupt, and, and if uh, Donald Trump is looking for a replacement for the useless Jeff Sessions, I'll gladly volunteer because federal justice is a disgrace and someone needs to clean. At the same time, Tucker, while I'm getting annoyed here, uh, the FBI won't hand over the unredacted communication to Congress that started all this thing. So we have an out-of-control federal prosecutor who can seize everything he wants from his subject's lawyer and the FBI who work for you and the American people won't even hand over to Congress the unredacted document that started this. Federal justice is corrupt and needs someone serious cleaning it up and if Jeff Sessions won't do it he should get out of the way and make way for someone who, who would. I don't know why the president would need a lawyer if he's innocent. Why do any of us need lawyers if we're innocent? No, Mark? no, no, There's no, that's, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> More Mark Stein. I, I wonder if I that had. applies to New York Times editors and New York Times journalists. Let's all go and poke around in all their stuff. After all, if they're innocent, they've got nothing to fear. Yeah. Give me your, the password mm. to your Gmail if you're innocent. No. Mark Stein will be yeah. back with us in just a minute to discuss the new plan out of California to fix homelessness by building homeless shelters in your backyard. Stay tuned.